Hello there once again, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. Again, I'm working on Chief Architect Premier version X9 on my Mac uh, computer. I am, today's tip is about roof freezes. And actually, today's is a not just a freeze, it's a built up freeze. So I'm gonna sh go through this process, show you how we get this in 3D, Here's the section view. Let's get started. So here we are with the plan view. I've just created a, a simple floor plan L shape um, just to have a model and, and to have the option to show a gable and a hip and see how this uh, works out. To do this, uh, this built up model, you can, you can use any size trim you want. I'm going to actually build up three pieces of 1x8 trim and then put a crown on that. Um, so I am going to draw 1x8, uh, I'm going to turn off my snaps there, uh, grid snaps. I'm going to draw 1x8 pieces in plan view, 1x8 polylines. So three quarters of an inch wide, seven and a quarter inches tall. And uh, then you can copy these. I'm doing this as a, um, really as a, uh, just a template of knowing what, what uh, the dimensions are going to be once I've got it built out, right? So I'm going to select that and I'm going to copy Transform replicate this object, copy, move in the X direction three quarters of an inch and three inches in the Y delta. So there's that. Then I'm going to do the same thing, cop make one copy again, three quarters of an inch in the X direction, which is to the right on my screen, and six inches up on my Y delta. Actually, I want this uh, this one uh, three inches three inches up, so minus three from what I made six inches. There we go. So I want three, three, and this I want six. So now I'm going to um, uh, let's see. Find we're going to go to the library and we're going to find the uh, crown molding that I want to place in here. So I'm going to go to my core catalogs, architectural, millwork, and uh, where is it? Oh, I'm sorry, moldings. Moldings, profiles, extrusions, crown molding. There we go. I'm going to choose this one, CA73. Now, if I right click on this preview, I get the show hide selection panel or show hide preview panel. What I actually want is to click this down arrow and I'm going to select CA73 from the list up here and right click there. And from this point, I can actually place this molding profile as a polyline in my plan view. So right click on the, on the uh, profile place molding profile, and then click in plan view. Unfortunately, last I checked, uh, you cannot place this into elevation views. So what I do is place it into my plan view, command X or control X on your PC to, to uh, cut it, and control V or command V on your Mac uh, to paste it into elevation view. So from here, I'm just gonna point to point move this corner down here and transform replicate that in the positive y direction six inches because I want six inches visible here three inches three inches so from this point I'm going to draw just a couple construction lines W on my keyboard draws a polyline and so that is the point right here this this um, this cross section right here is the point at which um, the the uh, the freeze profile is going to be uh, created. 
and generally it goes to the you can set top or bottom of the profile uh, that doesn't matter so much all right just a quick tip here guys and gals uh, I'm going to take this I've already created it in my library but you can take this uh, profile this one by eight trim profile select that and just add it to your library I'm going to hit F2 on my keyboard uh, F2 it's supposed to work doesn't anyway rename and call it one by eight trim and now it's in your library up here see I've got it twice uh, it's in your library to quickly choose as part of your fascia profile so yes I'm going to delete that okay first off we're going to add let's get to my we're going to add the uh, crown we're going to add profile uh, one by eight profile once twice and three times so um, we're going to go to the top of each profile and measure uh, what that is going to be I'm going to do one inch scale now the top of this is at zero that's fine but I want to measure that the top of this profile and then this is easy just add three more inches to each number and then over here two and a quarter inch and a half uh, three quarters so the, the crown will be horizontally justified by two and a quarter vertically justified by zero because we're right at the top this this trim will be horizontally justified by inch and a half because we're going to the back of the trim here but vertically justified by negative five and one sixteenth negative eight and one sixteenth for the next but horizontally by three quarters and the last one will be horizontally justified by zero but vertically justified by minus eleven and one sixteenth all right so now I'm going to go into my roof tools, build a roof. I've already made this uh, roof, this wall, a uh, a gable roof. You can easily select walls and in the child tool, change that to a gable wall. Or I've changed this one to a gable wall. We could make it a hip wall, but we actually want that as a gable wall. Just for this purpose of illustration, build roof tools here. I've set my overhangs at 12 inches on eaves and gables. Set my pitch, and that's great. Now I'm going to set my freeze. I'm going to delete all of these and just start over again, okay? So I'm going to set my freeze here. I'm going to choose each profile one at a time. Crown molding, CA73, remember. Uh, height and width, we're just going to leave those as is. We want this on the eaves and the gables. Vertical offset is zero. We do not do not want that to come down from the top here, and we want it measured from the top. But the horizontal offset, remember, was justified two and a quarter inches. So 2.25. That's in the positive x direction, as uh, you know, because zero is here, and we're moving to the right we're going to add a new one and now I'm going to go into my user catalog and select 1 by 8 trim which is dimensionally proportioned already it's 7 and a quarter by 3 quarters I could change this if I want 9 and a quarter and and that's fine it'll stretch to whatever size you want that and since this is just a rectangle it, it's just you could make it a square 3 quarter by 3 quarter square if you wanted a quarter by quarter square uh, or 10 by 10 square doesn't matter uh, but just by default this is going to come in at the 1 8 inch nominal sizes now this offset we have a vertical offset to the top of the trim minus 5 and 1 16 inches and a horizontal offset of 
inch and a half. Add another one. Now it selects the last molding profile that you selected, you've added already, so we're right on one by eight trim. Uh, again, dimensionally, we're fine. The vertical offset, I want to be minus eight and a sixteenth, and horizontally, three quarters, positive three quarters. And one last one by eight trim, vertically minus 11 and 1 16th, horizontally zero. Now let's go to roofs. You can change, uh, you know, structure. Uh, I'm gonna have one by eight fascia on the gables and the eaves. Uh, we're gonna have gutters. You could change that to a default gutter or whatever gutter shape profile you want there. But uh, I don't want to change any of that information. My, uh, my freeze profiles are exactly where I want them. So now I'm going to go back to roof and click the build roofs roof plane checkbox and hit OK. Plan view, you can see our roof planes are set. We are going to go to an overview. And then we are, so you can see that in, in three dimensions there. And let's come back here to a section. So there's your built up freeze. Once again, I've got uh, six inches visible here for the first freeze level, three inches, three inches, there's the crown, we're all set. So that's how you do roof freezes. Uh, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions thanking you for watching again this week. If this has been helpful or been interesting, uh, something you learned, please give us a like. That's always encouraging. And lastly, if you have any thoughts or suggestions for Tech Tip Tuesdays coming up in the future, leave a comment below and, and we'll try to get on to that for you. Check out our website, designbuildsolutionsllc.com, where there's good information about um, these, the library of the, all of these Tech Tip Tuesday videos as well as our design and drafting services. Have a great week, everyone. See you next time.